back to my series Inside My Micro Bakery. If you're new here, I'm Lily and I run my own micro bakery, small business called Lily's Loaf in South London. So welcome back guys, it is Wednesday morning here. Um, I'm actually having a bit of a slower day, which is so, so lovely. I can't tell you, um, genuinely the past couple days I've been feeling pretty exhausted. In fact, very, very exhausted. And you can probably still see it under my eyes, how big my eye bags are, but they're getting darker and darker by the day. Um, and I think it's just because of like the early morning. So my alarm going off anywhere between four and 4.30 and I'm just not getting into bed early enough and I'm not giving myself enough time to rest. Um, so, yeah, I think it's just as simple as that. And I'm just kind of trying to navigate this new, well, not so new, but yeah, this new Baker lifestyle and all of the things that comes with it. And for every single beautiful thing that there is in being a Baker, it is a very, very physically taxing job. And also, mentally and socially a bit difficult sometimes because like I might have plans in the evening um, but whenever I have plans I end up feeling so like anxious and stressed out that I'm not gonna be in bed on time and I know this might sound a bit ridiculous and I realize like this isn't the biggest issue in the world but it's just something that I'm kind of navigating in at the moment and just like a reality of being a baker. This morning I took my dog, dog Bobby out for a lovely walk and it's so, so beautiful at the moment. That place really is my sanctuary and haven and it is just, as soon as I step out there, it's just, it just makes me feel so peaceful and so calm and I feel like even just looking at the, the gorgeous colours, it just kind of takes me to another place and really calms and feeds my soul. Um, so I did that this morning, I just had some lovely breakfast and now I'm going to start my prep for my wholesale orders tomorrow. Um, and then I've got some kind of designing of labels that I need to do. I'm gonna start thinking about Christmas already. And I think later on I'm gonna bake a loaf with you guys a really really easy simple homemade hearty loaf um, because I think a lot of the time people feel that bread making is more difficult than it actually is and more time consuming than it, ac than it actually is but one of my big things is it's not that at all in fact it's the complete opposite and I want to share a recipe where it's really really simple accessible and it just means that you're making a really gorgeous homemade loaf that's probably so much better for you than anything you will buy in a supermarket and it's so much more rewarding and therapeutic and a gorgeous thing to do for yourself and your family or friends so that is the kind of plan for the day um i'm sorry if it's a bit random um but i just kind of felt like i was in the mood for filming today so yeah My prep for my wholesale orders tomorrow so now I'm gonna prepare this easy homemade loaf of bread that you guys can try to if you so wish 
Um, this is a loaf that I used to make all the time when I was at university. I used to bake a lot and cook a lot then. I mean, I still do. <laughs> um, but that was kind of like my relaxing therapeutic time when I was at university. So I'm starting off with 400 grams of whole grain flour. So I'm using, I'm very lucky in that I'm using wild farmed gorgeous whole grain flour um, just because that's the flour that I use in all of my loaves of bread in my micro bakery and then we've got 100 grams of strong white bread flour so I'm using wild farm T80 for that um, just because again that's the flour that I use in my products because it is delicious and the ethos is the ethos is fantastic in looking after the planet and farming in a better way. More regenerative practices. Seven grams of active dried yeast. So I'm just whacking this straight in here, like that. And then one and a half teaspoons of salt. So this is the salt that I use currently, sel de Guérant. I feel like I need to do this sort of baking more often because it really brings me back to like before I started Lily's Loaf and the kind of hobby baker that I used to be and just those times that I used to carve out on the weekend or the evenings like this is this is literally something that you could do when you get back home from work if you really want to make your own loaf of bread this is something that you can whip up in maximum 10-15 minutes and then the next day you can pull it out and bake it in the morning and then you've got gorgeous fresh bread. I'm going to incorporate some seeds into this as well. Okay, so 100 grams of seeds in the loaf. And then I'm going to pour in 300 grams of warm water and I think with bread like this is where the beauty of it is like you just kind of have to learn to trust your senses and be intuitive with it um, and you know if it's feeling a bit dry then you just add a little bit more water if it's feeling too sloppy then you just add a little bit of flour and you just you get to get to understand it the more that you do it and this is interesting me doing this like I feel like a beginner doing this loaf because I haven't done this loaf in so long but we'll see how we go okay so now I'm just gonna knead it by hand like I used to So it is the next day now, um, it's Thursday morning, I've been prepping for a little while. I've been prepping my sourdough, as you can see in the mixer here, and um, I was meant to do a delivery this morning, a wholesale delivery, but it's actually been cancelled, so that meant I didn't have to rush out on the bike this morning in the horrible weather, so that's quite nice really. Um, but now I've got some buns to shape, 
Um, so the buns that I was going to deliver to the coffee stand, I'm just going to use them for my orders tomorrow actually because it's a similar amount of buns that all of my other customers have ordered. I've actually got a birthday cake to make as well for one of my customers who has very severe allergies similar to me. Um, so I always love catering for them. Um, and it's all, it's also nice just to do something different other than just like bread and buns, just to have like this sort of decorative cake side of things. So I finished all of my prep now and my loaf has been cooling down so now it's time to try it to do the famous taste test. Um, looking at it on first glance it's not the most beautiful loaf I must say. Um, I think it could have done with a bit more of a rise or potentially I needed to score it in the middle but I just wanted to do it as simply as possible as I can begin a loaf. Um, but we'll see how it tastes now. So I'm going to have a couple slices. Okay, so to me that looks a little bit underbaked actually. But it's okay, it smells delicious. So I'm just going to slice up a couple pieces for me to try. I'm going to try a little bit here first. Mmm! It's got lots of flavour, definitely. Mmm! Mmm! I'm pretty happy with that, actually. How can I improve it? I think it just needs a little bit more rice. I think that's the only thing. So I think potentially when I take it out of the fridge in the morning, perhaps if I bring it up to room temperature, then it would be a little bit fluffier. But then again, it is majority whole grain flour. So you could always do 50-50 um, if you wanted it a bit lighter. But I actually really, really like that. I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to toast that up now try it toasted as well see how it is but yeah I really hope um, you guys give this a go I just really wanted to show how easy and simple it is to make your own loaf of bread and it doesn't have to be the most beautiful loaf of bread ever the main thing is that you give it a go and that you enjoy it you enjoy the process you enjoy the finished product and just the whole beauty of using your hands to make something from start to end. So I'll leave the recipe down below. Um, I'm going to give the, the couple options so you might get a slightly better rise um, and let me know what you think. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe and tell your friends about Lily Soap and I'll see you very soon. Bye guys, take care. Bye.